I was speaking to kids about writing and drawing and the books that I make and how they can improve on their own writing. I wrote and illustrated some books. Uh, the first one was The Scrambled States of America, about all the states in our country uh, that are little characters and they end up switching places. Um, a lot of schools use that one to help teach geography. I wrote one called Do Unto Otters that the schools, this school in particular, used um, to teach social skills and manners and a lot of schools use that for that reason. A rabbit um, meets three new otters who move in next door and he doesn't know if they're going to get along. Uh, Arnie the Donut is another one that's been real popular with kids. Arnie is a chocolate covered sprinkled donut who doesn't know that donuts are made to be eaten and he gets very upset when Mr. Bing, the man who buys him, tries to eat him. So that was a picture book and then I have since written some chapter books about Arnie too. So that's a new series. I was here for the reading event last night. It was focusing on their own writing and they, they had little stations set up for them to work on writing and I did a presentation there and then I've been doing some school visits as well. I first gave a presentation about how I got involved making books and I showed some of my artwork from when I was a child and from when I was in college and talked to them about their own writing and how to get better at it even if they don't like to write but that they can at least get better at it and then we did some drawings together. I showed them how to draw a couple characters from my books and then showed them how to do some facial expressions. Do you want me to show you? Uh, that they can use with their own characters in their own books. So these were expressions that Arnie the Donut uh, makes in the book and this way then they can use them with their own characters. And out of all the things they draw, I think this one is their favorite because then they start applying it to characters right away that they, um, that they draw. So that's always fun to see. They get excited. I used to only draw for them. And then years ago, somebody suggested that I have them draw with me. And I was really nervous to do that. I had no idea. I, I didn't want to try it and then have it bomb. So I was visiting a friend's classroom once, just popped in very casually to say hello. And so she let me try that with the kids and have them draw with me. And it went over great. And so I've been doing it ever since. They inspire me a lot. Um, you know, they remind me to you know, be zany and, and they don't hold back when they come up with ideas and that's really inspiring to me. Uh, but I love just seeing their enthusiasm and how excited they get. The, one of the things I really like to see is when there's a child who's really uh, nervous to draw, especially as they get a little bit older, maybe like into fourth and fifth grade. Um, they say that they can't draw and I'll encourage them to just, just give it a try because we're going to go through it step by step and then they get excited about it and then they um, hold up their drawings by the end and they're really happy about it. So that's always really fun for me to see that. In my book, The Scrambled States of America, Kansas is the star of it and his best friend is Nebraska. And it says in parentheses, Nebraska is a very kind state. And it's been very true. Everyone, everyone here has been very kind. <laughs>